Hello, my name is Florian Schifolo. This is a tutorial series on automatic text recognition. You are watching the fifth video dedicated to text recognition and model training. In the beginning, there was nothing, and humans said, let there be automatic text recognition. And so, humankind created the ability to convert analog text, be it handwritten or printed, into digital copies. Automatic text recognition, in short ATR, describe the convergent usage of optical character recognition, OCR, and handwritten text recognition, HTR. However, this important development was not achieved as fast as lightning. OCR is aimed at treating printing media such as books. This technology has only improved over time and systems today can have an accuracy of 99% in recognizing text from printing documents. HTR, as the name suggests, is used for handwritten documents such as letters. Human handwriting poses a challenge even for modern technology. Manuscripts encompass a near endless range of fonts and styles. It is out of reach for traditional approaches of pattern matching. Evolving technologies have allowed for text recognition to now do both HTO and OCO simultaneously. Modern models can recognize printed as well as handwritten text and process segments in lines or entire paragraphs. Today, such systems are built into smartphones, allowing us to scan text from images. To recap, text recognition is the procedure of converting scanned images of text into a machine-readable text format. This can be done manually via transcription or summing automatically with the help of ATR system and trained models. Such models require the input of images of high quality. Modern models function in two steps. First, they recognize segmented lines with the help of machine learning algorithm. Then, the transcription process will produce machine-readable text as the output. Before delving into ATR techniques, it is essential to define some keywords, ground truth, model, and model training. Ground truth refers to information that is known to be real and true. It is the ideal expected result. In automatic transcription, ground truth is the exact transcription of a set of text. It renders flawlessly the content of the image it is associated with. A model is the file that has been trained to recognize certain types of patterns. You start with ground truth, which become a model through model training. When done via machine learning, model training characterizes the process by which a machine learning algorithm is fed with sufficient training data to learn from. During that training, software will train on that data and learn from it, develop some patterns recognition, test and validate the result of this training. It will then repeat until it comes up with a satisfactory model, which is what constitutes the output. The production of ground truth and the training of models are time-consuming steps. So, before jumping to it, make sure that it is really necessary by exploring various ground truths and models on platforms such as HCR United, GitHub, or Zenodo. As ground truth is used for model training, it is imperative that the proposed transcription matches the images exactly so that the model is not confused during the learning process. In order to do so, it is necessary to produce ground truth entirely by hand or with a predictive transcription followed by a meticulous manual correction. It is essential to produce a sufficient quantity of ground truth. There is no minimum number of lines or pages required as it depends on various parameters such as the quality of the images, the intricacy of the writing and the structure of the document. Producing ground truth and training a model can be done gradually. It is always possible to add new ground truth until the model is sufficiently accurate. Finally, when producing ground truth, it is crucial to remain consistent in the choices made for the transcription, such as specific characters or glyphs. Document those choices and then stick it to it, ensure that the model will not be confused. Those ground truths will also be reused and understood more easily by the rest of the digital humanities community. Now, let's talk about software. It should be noted that we are not working in a field where one software dominates. 
Over time, several ATL software have been created for various types of documents and languages. Therefore, recommending a single software to carry out text recognition would not be judicious. Instead, we are going to introduce some elements to consider in order to choose the most fitting software. It is essential to think carefully and to take some things into consideration while choosing an ATR software because changing software mid-work is not always possible or can lead to issues. Firstly, it is important to examine the type of documents that constitute your data. Is it printed, handwritten, or a bit of both? Knowing this can already eliminate many of the options because OCR software does not generally work on handwritten documents and using use HTR software for printed text while OCR software with fitting models already exists would just be a waste of time. In addition, verify the scripts the ATR software can handle, that is, the writing systems it can work on, because, for example, using a software that is only working for Latin script while working with Arabic text would just be inefficient and useless. When you retrieve your images, they might be available in various formats on your local machine or on a IIIF server. Make sure to verify beforehand that the format you have is compatible with the software selected. Lastly, if several software programs seem adequate, you should check for practical elements, such as the availability of models or ground truths, and, according to your own affinity with digital tools, the presence of a graphical user interface. Following those recommendations, you should now be able to choose safely a software and start your automatic text recognition. Software programs, model training, and the quantity of resources in ATO have greatly improved in the last few years, enabling the production of more accurate models. However, it is highly improbable for an automatic prediction to produce a flawless result, and in almost every case, it will be necessary to correct the prediction after applying the model, which is called post-ATR correction. Errors in prediction can be the result of many factors related to the scanned image, the model, or segmentation, such as noisy background, bad prepare quality, illegibility of text, an unfit model, or wrong mask and polygon in the segmentation. There are two possible ways to do post-ATR correction semi-automated correction, and full manual correction. Choosing to do one or the other will really depend on the amount of errors in the prediction. Semi-automated correction can be time-saving when errors happen over every few lines, but will turn into a waste of time if they're only occasional errors. Moreover, techniques and tools for semi-automated correction vary. Its utility depends on the user affinity with digital tools. Therefore, we advise using semi-automated correction only if you estimate there will be a true significant opportunity to save time. If you choose it, we suggest two in our video description. This was our video on text recognition and model training. If you want to learn more about the next step in the ATR pipeline, watch our next video.